the uh, We Charge Bears circuit. This is kind of the warm up for that. But again, more than a more than a tournament spot at stake, the two free tournament spots yeah. at NEC 19. Right now, we're seeing uh, the end of the PR season. Uh, a lot of people just fighting for spots on the list. Absolutely, yeah, and like, like I, I truly think that when Ultim comes out, Philly can have a 15-man PR, just because we have so many, we have so many like good players. It's just that like some of them like some of them play melee more, like Vex Kasrani, like he plays more melee. Yeah, he's uh, uh, currently yeah. sixth on the melee yeah. PR. And like we have we have some people that are kind of like semi-retired, like they just kind of they just kind of like. They show up to tournaments sometimes, but they don't take it like super seriously. Like Redeemer Z could climb back onto the PR if, if he wanted to, I bet. I believe so. Yeah. No, you're right. And uh, I mean, we saw him put together a pretty decent performance against uh, against Travesty. Yeah. Although uh, eventually, Travesty did get the better of him, just getting comboed. Travesty comboed him so hard with Lucina off of the top. Both yeah. of those kills being ladder kills. His Lucina was pretty good, though. I, I, I'm going to give him credit for that. Like, that Lucina was pretty good. It was good, but it was just a tough matchup. And now we're oh, going yeah. to see here, uh, speaking of a, speaking of tough matchups, the ZSS of Juice going up against uh, Bad Things' is Cloud. Now, this is, uh, this is the second time that we've seen it in this PR. We have seen Juice play bad things and bad things did wind up taking a set off of him two to one wow, uh, really? uh did not no took a game off of him oh, but it okay. was juice <laughs> it was juice winning two to one excuse me i misspoke there we're gonna see if bad things can have a reversal of fortune here as we go to smashville for game number one yeah bad things is a really good player i would say he might be the best cloud in here ahead of Spy spyrunk but it's it's really hard to kind of like decide between them because like, like they were both just so good. But yeah, bad things. He's he's like a really good player. You cannot sleep on him. <laughs> Without a doubt. I mean, former Philadelphia PR. I think he was ranked as highly as number three in the past. Maybe even I think number so, yeah. two. I could be. I no, actually, no. He was number three. I know his, his highest that like I can say for sure is five. He yeah, like three sounds possible. But yeah, like he's he's one of those people that like um. Depending on like when school is in session or out of session, like he will be playing more or less often, and so that's why he doesn't always show up on the PR. Like he could he could easily be on there every season if he was if he was able to play like consistently. Ooh. All right. So yeah, we actually have Juice here having like a substantial lead, but then again, it is a cloud. You just need to watch out that. Oh, he threw out uh -oh. the cross slash. I don't know if that was an intentional. Maybe he meant to go the other way. But yeah, Juice is going to punish that and get the kill. I mean, bad things. He does not rely on the cross slash nearly as much uh, as some other people here do. Spiro, he gets the majority of his kills with that limit break cross slash. Though he's uh, become a bit more of a versatile player yeah. in the past couple of weeks. Now, uh, bad things has that limit oh, break again. Oh. They're down to one stock apiece, but Juice just piling on the damage. Yeah, that was, that was great juggle there from juice like i was like oh man is he is he gonna like up being like get a kill off of this but no he just keeps on racking up the damage 62 percent. he has plenty of kill options now does bad things the question is can he line it up just right to get the kill he'll have to meet him in neutral somehow but juice not giving him any chance to get there Ooh, uh oh just good shield there good forward throw and might be looking for the cross slash or the finishing touch and a dash attack gets him off of the stage. Again, giving himself another opportunity, but I mean, he has to be looking for the cross slash, right? Not, oh, oh, but the up air oh, wow, the is up going air, yeah. to do it again. That up air from Cloud. Ooh, he throws out the cross slash at the end, too, just to BM. Wow. Why not? <laughs> you know what? Your bad things, you do whatever you want. That tends to be the case. And he is looking for the upset of the number one in Philadelphia. Now, you talk about your statement wins. You talk yep. about what Bad Things has done in recent weeks. He wound up taking out Travesty in loser's bracket and taking 6WX to five games last week. And now a yeah. win against the number one in Philadelphia. That would, that would be great. I mean, yeah. consider you, there are not many people that can say that they took sets off of, uh, yeah. off of Juice. So... Uh, could oh, very down well. Oh to my gosh! Tether recovery. I've never seen that. Juice has had trouble with clouds in the past. He he's had multiple sets. In fact, tur <coughs> tournaments taken away from him by Spiro. 
Yeah. Uh, which wound up getting Spiro to the number three slot in the city. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, like, I think what that thing just needs to do here is he's just going to need to get his limit and then use the mobility that you get from it. Ooh, wow, that was a good spot dodge. But yeah, because, like, Zero Zoot Sam is, like, super mobile and can run it can run around Cloud. Like, Cloud isn't... Cloud's kind of, like, in the middle, I would say, for, like, movement. But, like, when, when he gets that limit, like, he's just moving so much faster. <laughs> So he's able to kind of like take advantage of that and uh, and can play a bit more at like a ZSS speed. Oh, that's an unfortunate right. SD there though. You're right. Bad Things was in fact the number five, and I he could have been higher. I'm not sure about that though. I, I like he can de he he definitely has the potential to be higher. I just know that five is like the one that he was like that's like his highest that I know of like for sure. You could be right. Oh, that's a good grab. Oh, he's. Oh, he's keeping Juice off stage well. Ooh. Oh, okay. I think it was number five, actually, the first uh, PR that Juice was number one. Yeah. Uh, when he took over that spot from 6WX, but he did it down. Oh, it was the last blade stock. beam. The, new, the oh. blade beam catching him off guard and piling on that damage. And again, that very such... good kill percentage. Bad things yeah. is making a case for himself. That was this is bad oh news God. for Juice right here! And just like that, what? bad bad things, goodness gracious, takes down Juice what? two to nil in winner's semifinal action. I wanted to say like how like I was like, oh man, that blade beam's like such a good mix-up. But uh, but then I was like, oh my god, he actually no, won right. off of that. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, no, and that's uh it's not often that we see uh that we see him go down quite like that, but yeah, we like have seen him make runs out of loser's bracket yeah. before. What this does, it isn't nearly as damaging for Juice as it is elevating for bad things, who yeah. can now say he can put on his resume definitively that he took down the number one in Philadelphia in two sets. Yeah. That has to say something to the PR committee.